Hey everyone, I'm here with my good friend Marnie from Geordie Shore and she's asked me to do a little cheek augmentation for so her. So what that involves guys is not about doing some kind of like big hamster cheek thing but it's really about augmenting the cheekbone and the structure that's there underlying. So the areas that we're going to augment are this zygoma here and a strip of bone going towards the ear called a zygomatic arch to give that contour. Okay guys, so this is the bit where I want you guys to look away if you're squeamish of needles. Inserting it very gently. Money didn't feel that too much. Now the injection process is actually really slow and that's what stops me from getting a lot of complications or problems. With injecting really fast and doing the procedures really quickly is a little bit of a recipe for disaster so I encourage practitioners to really take your time. Doing a little bit of a massage backwards as well to give a little bit of traction and to lift the mid face and you should be able to see that this is augmented right here. Trying to get a little bit more close up so you can see the apple of the cheek that's got that sheen to it here and showing that it's augmented catching the light in a more flattering way. And I'm really using my knowledge of the anatomy of the cheekbones to really kind of trace over them augmenting and now we're gently augmenting onto something called the zygomatic arch. And what I'm doing with my thumb there is I'm protecting, I'm protecting the inferior border there, which is where something called a transverse facial artery runs, which we mustn't damage. And that's the importance of knowing the anatomy. The external carotid artery comes up off of the neck. It becomes a superficial temporal artery and gives a transverse facial. So it's important to know these pieces of anatomy and that's why Marnie of course likes to come to me for some of these advanced facial procedures rather than someone who might not know the importance. We're look at the it. unaugmented side here and then we're going to look at the augmented side. You can see how it catches the light and you can see the contour that's automatically created by the injection. Look at the unaugmented side here and then we're going to look at the augmented side. You can see how it catches the light and you can see the contour that's automatically created by the injections.